2003, I participated in an elder hostel program in Hawaii called Exploring Hawaii's Beautiful Outdoors from the Mountains to the Sea, and it included visits to Oahu, Maui, and Kauai. This was an active outdoor program, and it included nine hikes of up to six miles and 1,500 feet elevation gain, three rides on outrigger canoes, surfing lessons and two surfing sessions at Waikiki, a trip on a catamaran, a stage show, a couple snorkels and sea kayaking, and two kayaks on the island of Kauai. Unfortunately, both of the snorkels and the sea kayaking had to be canceled due to high winds and high waves. Elder hostel programs always contain a strong educational component. And in this one, we learn quite a bit about the flora and fauna of the islands. But we also learn about the geology, the history, culture, ecology, the religions, and about Polynesian culture and the migrations to arrive here. A special treat was a visit to the Waikiki Aquarium, led by the Director of Education and included a back behind the scenes tour of the operation. Our surfing instruction was led by the famous Waikiki boys, and they were pretty good. I managed to get up 10 out of 15 tries. We also had a talk by the local big wave surfing legends, Fred Van Dyke and Peter Cole, who invented big board surfing back in the 60s. Here they are. One of our hikes was in Kahana State Park, which recreates one of the original land divisions of the old Hawaiian culture. Their land would start up on the mountaintops, come down the hillsides in a pie-shaped triangle getting larger and larger until you reach the sea. We hiked the hillside trails for quite a few miles and we noticed all the taro fields. And then we had a traditional Hawaiian lunch and also saw a number of their arts and crafts being practiced. Finally, we visited one of their fish ponds where they would trap various ocean marine life for their meals. Aeo State Park is in the West Maui Mountains. This lush green valley is a sacred site to the Hawaiian people, and it's also the historic site of a fierce battle between Maui warriors and the army of King Kamehameha. The ridge trail gave us a spectacular view of the gorge down below, and we had a picnic lunch up at the top. The hike was about five miles with an elevation gain of over 1,500 feet. U.A. Smith is a professional hula dancer who told us about the history and culture and meaning of the dance and then instructed us in how to try it ourselves. Haleakala National Park was another one of the highlights. Just magnificent views from the summit up at 9,700 feet. And then we did a three mile hike at about 8,000 feet through native shrubland to get to the valley rim where we could look down below. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that's a horse party far below us down on the valley floor. State Park is called the Grand Canyon of Kauai. It's about eight miles long and a mile wide and it's spectacular. The canyon is over 3,500 feet deep and the red lava beds contrasted with the lush green scenery is amazing. We hike the canyon trail to Waipu Falls Though our sea kayaking was canceled due to inclement weather, we were able to go on two river kayaks, the Waialua River and the Hanali. Hanali was made famous in the Peter, Paul and Mary song, Puff the Magic Dragon in the land of Hanali. This was my first trip to Hawaii, so I went four days early to do some sightseeing. And my first stop, the USS Arizona Memorial. How inspiring. 1,177 U.S. crewmen lost their lives on December 7, 1941 with the bombing of Pearl Harbor. The memorial, the white building, spans the midsection of the still sunken battleship below. Seen here. Just a few hundred feet away from the Arizona Memorial is the USS Missouri, the Mighty Moe. 
General MacArthur accepted Japan's surrender on this deck on September 2, 1945. These 16-inch guns could fire a 2,700-pound shell over 23 miles in distance. So within a couple hundred feet of each other, we have the start and the finish of World War II. I'm taking this picture from the deck of the USS Missouri, and there's the USS Arizona Memorial. But there's more here. Just across the harbor is the USS Bowfin, a U.S. sub, which on its nine patrols in World War II sank 44 enemy ships. This waterfront memorial and museum is a tribute to the 52 submarines and 3,500 plus submariners we lost in World War II.